factors of. So this did you not go separate, but the pulling force balances the weight of it so that the forces are balanced. But that by itself will not allow it to remain there to topple down. So if you give it a spin, it will be stabilized. So you get an armor top, if you don't spin it, it will topple down. But if you spin it, it can be kept in a vertical position in the top heavy configuration. That's what's happening, you see. It's a very beautiful toy called a battery limitron. It's a, a, a popular piece in Europe. Possibly now is available in India also. Sir Michael Beria, whom I referred to earlier, gave a very complicated theory. And he brought this to show to all of us in Roman Institute. That's where I saw this some 15 years ago. You spin it, check out that. It is actually spinning in air, floating in air, and the gravitation. To prove that it is actually in air, he is doing all this. That's all. So, covering it with glass will not prevent it from working. That is very important because magnetic field will go through glass anyway. Going that way also will not prevent it from spinning high up in air. Now the last one to show that that even taking your hand round it will not obstruct its stability. Good. They go to the next one. This is a remarkable illusion. Whether it is in the domain of psychology or physics or theory of projected images is not very clear. But it is a very powerful illusion. Here is a place one study. Look at that carefully. Ah, it is turning around. But you see, it is empty. This is solid convex Einstein. Turn around. It is all a concave object, but it gives you the idea of a three-dimensional face and it is turning around and it turns towards you all the time. It is actually a hollow piece painted like a face and gives the impression that it is a real solid face. See? It looks as though this is a three-dimensional curve of material. It is not true. It is hard, actually. The eyes will be always towards you. I don't have a simple explanation. Often the explanations do not be the mind of physics as well as psychology. Next, my last one, exactly like this, is not Einstein's space, it's something else. For the T-Rex, you know the dinosaur long, long, but it walked on that. See, you go around this object, its head turns. Actually, no one is turning his head. You go around it, his head turns. The man, the camera is going around that, and his head is turned. He not just one. He has put eight of them there. They are all moving synchrony. See? As he goes around the table, the head turns towards the camera. <laughs> Projected one, that's what I'm trying to say in the act. I'm 
sorry, I have exceeded my time. This is my last one. This is a very huge model of the same. And the chap is going round with his camera and you see his tummy. The left and the right. Watch carefully. The secret will be out very soon. There is a wonderful sick. Unbelievable sick. This is not a solid body at all. It is just a better piece better than me. We painted this. See, it's just a matter of peace. It could be made out of cardboard even. And this projected image gives the face of a dinosaur that turns around. Because we interpret the world as a projected world. It's like a vision. And space space. It's another example to see. A very powerful uh, illusion. With that, my dear friends, I would like to stop my talk. Hopefully, you have presented to me examples that are complex. Don't tell you. That's I'm going to have explained all of them exactly in the language of physics. The convincing language of physics. But to a large extent, they overlap with what the physics is supposed to know. I started from the most elementary, which a school student knows. They ended up with something that even working scientists do not know. That's how physics is perplexing even to this day. You don't have to go to quantum gravity, Higgs boson, black hole, string theory to say physics is perplexing. You're aware that physics is perplexing if only you know how to look at it.